Okay, so let's try this. Place your hand here and vibrate as in hum. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a vibration here? Mm -hmm. That's it. So today we're going to be talking about vocal organs one now I'm going to talk about three parts of the voice which are parts of your vocal organs why am I treating this topic it's because you have to first understand everything that has to do with your voice before you say you want to learn more about your voice it's just like if I want to learn about the piano I, there are different parts of my keyboard there are the parts in which I will place my hands and the other parts in the right position now that's the same thing now with your voice we need to know what are the parts of the voice so that we will know how to properly use it the first one we are talking about is the larynx the larynx can be found behind the protuberance in which you find in the truth the protuberance is actually that adam apple it's a protuberance you see it mostly it's visible very visible in the man so it's the hair and then at the back you find the larynx now that larynx helps you to be able to control your pitch control your frequency because by the opening and the closing of the glottis then the the the, the right pitch you intend to achieve comes out then we have the epiglottis. It's a protuberance. You see, it mostly it's visible, very visible in the man. So it's the hair, and then at the back you find the larynx. Now that larynx helps you to be able to control your pitch, control your frequency, because by the opening and the closing of the glottis, then the 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 right pitch you intend to achieve comes out. Then we have the epiglottis the epiglottis actually prevents it's actually that 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 part of the voice which, which prevents the air from entering into the wrong place or your food from entering into the wrong place so your food when you take in air and um, eat or you eat when you eat when you swallow the food goes and then the epiglottis will close and immediately it closes it's like a flap really it closes it directs the food to the stomach but when you take in air the epiglottis is open to receive the air and then leads the air to your windpipe so that's why most people say the food you eat does not affect the way you sink because the food is not going to your windpipe the, it's actually the air that's going to your windpipe so how can the food you eat affect your voice well that's a topic for another day also we have your vocal folds some call it the focal cords now these vocal cords are the tiny lines that you can find them in the larynx so those those are um, midline when it's open you find your glottis inside of it at the back where the shark eye is let's look at the diagram so that we can understand it better
Now you understand it. Go and do your vocal exercise and strengthen your larynx so that you can be able to open and close your glottis as much as you can so that you can produce the best of your sounds. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. And don't forget to subscribe. Shh, tell your friends too to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class.